Hey Scorpio, it is Ashley here with Fire Intuition. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do your love reading. Do keep in mind that this is a general reading. Only take the message if it resonates with you. Also do keep in mind that energy can flip-flop. So if it's not you, it can definitely be your partner. Alright, so let's see what we got for you, Scorpio. And this will be Sun, Moon, and Rising, also Venus. So if you have Scorpio and Venus, this will also resonate with you as well. Okay? So let's shuffle up the cards and let's hop into the reading and see what we got. Spirit Universe, please give me some messages for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Spirit Universe, please give me some messages for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Spirit of Universe, please give me some messages for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, Scorpio, so let's see what we got for you guys. Let's see where the relationship is. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Strength card, and we have the Lovers card. So you guys could be dealing with a Leo. We have the strength card. That's definitely Leo energy. There is a love triangle. Someone's torn in love. They can be dealing with a Gemini. So it could be a relationship where you're Scorpio dealing with a Leo that's dealing with a Gemini. Okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles. You want a commitment from this person. And it's like with the Ace of Pentacles, you want a commitment from this person. But you know that this person is lying and they're not being honest and they're not telling you the truth about something. So with the strength card, in order for you to move forward in this relationship with this person, it's like you want truth, you want clarity, okay, before you guys can come back together. Or this person, this Leo or this Gemini knows that with the Ace of Swords, they have to tell you the truth in order for there to be a new beginning or a commitment between you guys, okay? Clarify the Lovers card. Yeah. And... This person just caused a lot of stress. You've been waiting for this person for a really long time. With the Ten of Rods, I feel like you're ready to just give up on this person, though. You're ready to just take that burden off of you. You're ready to release their energy. With the Eight of Pentacles, I do see you guys separated at this time. With the Four of Wands, you guys could have been married. If not married, you guys were in a very long-term relationship. And you thought that you were going to marry this person. You thought this person was like... It was going to be long term. You thought things are going to be beautiful between you guys, but there's a third party and they need to be open and honest in order for you guys to move forward. Next, we have the page of rods. We have the knight of swords. We have the page of swords and we have the seven of cups. So this person thinks about you a lot, Scorpio. We have the page of swords. This person is looking on your social media. This person is asking people about you. This person is trying to find out significant information. This person thinks that you're with someone else, which is weird because they're actually with someone else. But they think you're with someone else. With the knight of swords, this is you being very rash, very scattered, wanting more from the relationship. Also wanting the truth, wanting them to be honest. With the page of rods and the knight of swords, it's like... It's like you're in two different energies. You want a new beginning. You want to shift into a new phase. You want to start things over with this person. But at the same time, it's like if you guys talk and have communication, I feel like it comes out very rash. The energy is very scattered. And then the messages are just either miscommunicated or there's a lot of miscommunication between you guys because you guys are in two different energies. They're with someone else wondering if you're with someone else. Okay? And at the same time, you know that they're with someone else. And you're upset that they're with someone else. You want more from this person. You want a new beginning. Like I said, they're on your social media. You're on their social media. So it's like you guys are both stalking each other, both, you know, looking up each other, both wondering what the other person is doing, but no one taking action. Clarify the page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? Yeah, you guys are just both. Yeah, you guys both want the commitment. So it's weird. It's like you guys both want a commitment with each other. So it's like even if that person is with someone else Scorpio they don't even want to be with that person they want to commit me with you but with the four of swords it's like they put the relationship to the side for now and the reason why they put the relationship to the side for now is because they know if they come back towards you they can't offer you nothing right now with the three of pentacles there's going to be a lack of teamwork there's going to be problems in the relationship they can't put the past behind them yet because they're still dealing with past issues between you guys or just other issues that are going on in their life and they can't give you a full commitment but they do care about you they do they do love you they care about you they want you in their life but they just can't give you their a hundred percent they can't give you them a hundred percent okay right now they have someone else around or something stopping them from coming towards you and giving you their all, okay? Um, 
yeah is there going to be a new beginning let's see yeah like right now it's like it's like see they they think about you a lot this person is very much in love with you this is your energy cancer pisces scorpio you could be dealing with that person or this is this scorpio's energy because we have the king of cups but this is them being very much in love with you with the ten of cups knowing that this is true love wanting to be with you but also knowing that with the seven of swords there's deception and betrayal around the relationship so it's like they want a new beginning but they don't want to be stuck in their old ways with you they don't want to do the same things that they were doing before so it's like they want to come back and give you the ten of cups and offer you something but they want to break free from their past they want to break free from things that happened in the past okay so how does the person feel about you scorpio we have the two of swords, we have the two of pentacles, we have the star, and we have the hey man. So, like I told you, they're blindfolded when it comes to love. They really love you, they care about you, they want to be with you. They need to make a choice. Someone is not expressing how they really feel. They're not telling you how they feel. They also want your hurt feelings to be gone. Because with the two of pentacles, you know and they know that they're juggling this relationship with you and someone else. With the star card, they want that hope and renewal with you. They want to come back together. They want to work things out. But with the hangman, they're lost right now. They're lost. They're in their head. They don't know what to do. They feel like they made the wrong decision. Or they feel like if they come back towards you, you know, are you going to have a new outlook on them? Are you going to look at them the same? Are you going to, you know, still view them how they were in the past? Okay? Clarify the hangman. Yeah, see? And we have their energy, like you're in their energy, Scorpio. So whoever this is, they think about you a lot. You're very much in their head, but they're definitely in a third party situation. And with the emperor, they might have kids on the way. They might have kids with someone. They're in a relationship with someone that they have kids with or they have kids on the way. Our kids are stopping them from coming towards you because we have the emperor and that's usually a father figure. If not with the emperor, it's like they don't want to come in your life and be back and forth and on and off. You could be dealing with an Aries as well. Okay, so it's like they want to come in your life, but they don't want it to be on and off, back and forth again. They just want to be solid this time around and just give you everything and not be back and forth or not be on and off in the relationship. How you're feeling right now, Scorpio? We have the Queen of Rods. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Four of Cups and we have the Ten of Swords. So you can be definitely dealing with a fire sign person, Scorpio. Okay, you can be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and with the five of swords, you just feel like they're playing mind games with you. You feel like you can't win for losing with this person. And you need to let go of the resentment that's inside. I feel like there's a lot of resentment inside. I feel like you guys are holding on to a lot of past resentment. And it's time for you guys to just open up and just change your mindset and not think negative about this person. I feel like this Aries Leo Sagittarius has put you through a lot of emotional, like, just do a lot of things emotionally because we have the four of cups you're lost it's like you're looking for new love you want new love you want new love to show up and with the ten of swords right here you can have new love show up but it's like you're not even opening yourself up to have new love show up because you're still stuck and torn on this person okay this aries Leo or sagittarius you're still stuck on this person because mentally they have you confused okay all right um yeah let's clarify the five of swords why are you all in your head Okay. Yeah, you're in your head because you believe that there's going to be a new beginning or you want a new beginning with this person. With the hermit, this person has probably told you in the past, like, oh, let's work things out. We're going to have a new relationship. We're going to, you know, settle down. We're going to work things out. But it's like when this person retreated from you or when you guys broke up and separated in the past, it's like they retreated from you but got themselves in a new relationship and had a new beginning and kept you in a dark place with the nine of rods. So it's like they got you in a dark place. Why they're in another relationship, but steadily trying to come back to you to have a new relationship with you because now they're in a dark place with the person they're with. And now they regret the relationship and want to come back towards you. And now they want a new beginning. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the justice card. So when you guys were together, this relationship just wasn't fair. It wasn't honest. Okay. We have the ace of rods. You guys definitely have a connection. But even though you guys have a connection, there was obstacles in a way. There was things stopping you guys from being together. And with the chariot, when there were obstacles or whatever obstacles you had, this person moved forward. They walked away from the relationship. They didn't want to invest in the relationship anymore with the seven of pentacles. And with the three of rods, they met someone new. Okay, they met someone new and now they're in a relationship with that person and no longer want to invest in that relationship with that person. And it's like with the chariot, they want to come back towards you because they know that there's a connection. But with the justice card, they know that if they come back towards you, you could also be dealing with a Libra, that there has to be a balance. Things have to be fair. They have to tell the truth. They have to be honest. It's, and remember, we had the Ace of Swords. They know they have to tell the truth about something. Okay.
So if you guys were dealing with water sign people, we have the world card, we have the seven of rods, and we have the six of cups. So if you guys were dealing with water sign people, we have the world card. You guys definitely want to end that relationship. There was a lot of arguing in the relationship with the seven of rods. You guys argued a lot. And you kept having your guard up and you're ready to put your guard down. You're, you're tired of arguing. And with the six of cups, it's like you're still holding on to the past, but at the same time, ready to let go of the past with that person. Okay? If you guys were dealing with earth sign people, we have the king of rods, we have the six of pentacles, and we have the king of swords. So if you guys were dealing with earth sign people, you know they definitely had a third party situation. They were definitely dealing with a Gemini. We had the lovers card. They could have been dealing with a Gemini. With the six of pentacles, there was no equal give and take in the relationship. They were being very selfish, very needy. Okay? They were also with someone else. So it's like they had two people. They were with you and just had many other people in the relationship. Or if you guys were dealing with earth sign people, there was a third party situation. They had an Aries Leo Sagittarius around. And there was no balance in that relationship. And as the King of Swords, they met you. They fell in love with you. They start going feelings, but they couldn't fully open up and give you their all. And there was manipulation because they did have a King of Rods, an Aries Leo Sagittarius around them. And with the Six of Pentacles, there couldn't be an equal give and take in the relationship. Because like I said, they were already committed to a relationship. Okay. So we have water, we have earth. If you guys were dealing with air sign people, we have the queen of pentacles. We have the ace of cups and we have the six of swords. So if you guys were dealing with air sign people, they definitely had someone else around them. They definitely were in a committed relationship. Okay, they definitely could have kids by that person as well. With the ace of cups, they were in love with you and the other person. And with the six of swords, you know, they had to walk away from this relationship with you because they were already in a committed relationship. And they met you when the relationship was really rocky and there was, you know, trouble going on in the relationship. If you guys were dealing with fire sign people, we have the knight of pentacles, we have the devil, and we have the six of rods. So in order for there to be victory and success in this relationship, in order for you guys to move forward, someone needs to release codependency issues with the devil card. This person is very much stuck in their ways. This person is not changing. Okay, and with the Knight of Pentacles, you just can't trust this person. Okay, it's like this person is like for some of you guys, this person is just never going to change. Even if you guys get back together with the Six of Rods, their ego is always going to be in the way. Okay, but in order for there to be victory and success in this relationship, in order for you guys to move forward at all in love in this relationship, someone needs to change their ways. Someone has codependency issues, are they're very much stuck in their ways and not willing to change, are they not changing? And with the Knight of Pentacles, things are moving slow and stagnant. And that's why there's no relationship between you guys, okay? All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye, Scorpio.